Here we're going to be using the gross profit method here to estimate our cost of goods sold. And we've had some uh, cost of goods sold or some merchandise destroyed in a fire here. And we're going to have to determine what that cost of goods sold is in the fire because it's not available to uh, physically count anymore. So we're going to look at two methods here for this gross profit. We're going to determine our cost of goods sold based on our sales made here. And we're going to be looking at sales made at 33% above cost. And then also we'll look at the method here were 33 percent of our sales so let's go look at our sales made at 33 percent of our cost here and how we would calculate this cost of goods sold now when their sales made at 33 percent above cost here you must convert this 33% uh, above cost to the percent of sales here so for our example here we're just going to have some merchants we're going to be looking at from the first of the year here until um, let's say March 1st here and this is when we've, we have to determine our cost of goods sold so uh, we have some merchandise on hand here we have and I'm not going to go through all these numbers here we're going to have some purchases since that date here and then some purchase returns some freight in on cost on that and then the merchants merchandise available that's at cost here at two hundred and sixty two thousand dollars so now we can de we have to determine this cost of goods sold and really that's the sales minus our gross profit here and we're going to determine that to be a hundred and eighty thousand dollars but this is the question how do we determine that so we can go down here and just look at that and where sales minus our gross profit equals our cost of goods sold well we know what our sales are they're two hundred and forty thousand dollars but we don't know what our gross profit is here based on our our gross profit method here when we're looking at 33 percent of above our cost here so what we have to do is we have to uh, convert this 33% of cost to uh, the percent of sales here and we're going to determine that it's 25% of our sales here so let's go and look at it uh, our gross profit on our markup here this is how we'd convert uh, this uh, gross profit here at, uh, above cost here to uh, the sales at the percent of sales here so let's look at that so we had a 33% markup on cost here so we had our cost plus our gross profit equals our selling price and we're just going to do it in a unit amount here and I'm not going to go through all this these numbers here but all I want to point out here is we got this gross profit and it's equal to 33% of the cost and we have to convert it to uh, the sales uh, percentage here so uh, you can look at the math here when we we do our math here uh, we take our cost here and divide it by our sales price that we have here and you're going to determine uh, you get our cost at 33 percent you're going to come up with our sales price at 133 percent here that equals 25 percent so we could go down to our formula and look at it here we have our gross profit on our selling price that this is the general formula this is all you need to know here you take your percentage of markup on cost which was 33 percent in this case and then you divide it by a hundred percent here plus the percentage of markup up on cost this is our general formula our 33 percent here so you're going to come up here we get we've got given this markup and cost here of 33 percent and then we calculate our gross profit as a percentage on our selling price to be 25 percent and that's just what we did above here we took the gross of that markup and cost of 33 percent add the hundred percent here plus the markup and cost again here at 33 percent add those together and you make the division up here and you're going to come up with 25 percent of sales so that's the number we have to to work with when calculating our gross profit here on our sales so let's go and look at it here our gross profit method here uh, we could again we could just uh, it's just our sales minus our gross profit equals our cost of goods sold but let's look at how we'd actually calculate this here so we have our sales at two hundred and forty thousand dollars and we're going to work back backwards here we have to determine our number one our gross profit on sales that was 25 percent here so we're going to work back with here just to get our cost of goods sold and we can also do our ending inventory but let's look at our cost gross profit here in sales at 25 percent and determine what that is so uh, uh, two hundred and forty thousand dollars that was our sales here times that 25 percent that we calculated here uh, equals sixty thousand dollars so that's our gross profit on our sales here sixty thousand dollars now to determine our cost of goods sold well that's just the difference here between our sales amount here and our gross profit on our sales so that would be a balancing amount here so you take our sales here of two hundred and forty thousand less our gross profit here on sales that we calculated at sixty thousand here that gives us a hundred and eighty thousand dollars for our cost of goods sold so we've uh, solved for our cost of goods sold at this point here now we could step back one point further we really don't have to uh, calculated here but our ending inventory that would be our 
uh, what our goods available for sale here at 262,000 less our cost of goods sold of $180,000. You can see the arithmetic between those two here for our balancing amount. So our uh, ending inventory with 262,000 minus 180,000 gives us $82,000 for ending inventory. That was just a complete here uh, determining our steps here. First to determine our gross profit on our sales here, our, our and then our cost of goods sold and then our ending inventory. So let's go back and look at our example here. So we determine our cost of goods sold, uh, sold here. That was the sales minus our gross profit. We just went through that and that was $180,000 here. Uh, our sales here was $240,000 and our gross profit here 25% of sales was $60,000. So the, that gives us $180,000 here. Now uh, taking our, our ending inventory here would be uh, just the difference here. We had merchandise available here, uh, and this is at 3 1 here, March 1st, at 262,000, less our cost of goods sold, 180,000, gives us ending inventory here at 82,000. Now we had some undamaged goods in this example, and just throwing that in here, so we would subtract that out. We had $21,800 that were undamaged goods from this fire here that we had. So uh, the difference here would give us our estimated uh, fire loss or on our inventory loss here of $60,200. Okay, so that uh, takes care of this example here where the sales are made at 33% above cost and we had to make the conversion here. We had to convert it, this 33% above cost to actually it was in this case the percentage of sales or 25% of sales. So we've made our, our calculation here. We determine our cost of goods sold and then with the other calculation we estimated our fire loss here to be in this case $60,200. Now let's look at the other case here which is a simpler case to handle here. That was our gross profit method here. We're taking 33% of our sales. So let's just go over and look at that here. Uh, again the same numbers here. We have our merchandise available here at cost at $262,000. Now we have to determine our cost cost of goods sold. Again, it was just our sales minus our gross profit here. But in this case, the gross profit here is 33% of sales. We don't have to make a conversion. We already have given that here at 33% of sales. So our gross profit here, let's just look at it. We take our sales here times 33%. So our sales were 240,000 times 33% gives us $80,000 here. That's our gross profit. So our cost of goods sold here uh, would be the difference here between our sales minus our gross profit. So we take our sales of 240000 minus our gross profit here of 80000 gives us a cost of goods sold here of $160,000. So here we've determined our cost of goods sold just uh, based on this gross profit here being 33% of sales. We didn't have to make that conversion here. So 160000 here, our cost of goods sold from our merchandise available, 262000 gives us an ending inventory here of $102,000. And then we had that undamaged goods again here. We'd have to subtract that out here, 21800 Gives us our estimated fire loss in this case of $80,200. So in here we used the uh, uh, percentage of sales here. We didn't have to make that conversion here, but moving over here, our first uh, example, our first example here was that 33% above cost, so we had to make that conversion here, and we then we determine our cost of goods sold simply the sales again minus our gross profit, and we determine that here to be our cost of goods sold $180,000, and then we were able to estimate our fire loss here. So this is going through both uh, ex uh, techniques here using this gross profit method here, either as a uh, percentage above cost or a percentage of the sale. So when you do a percentage above cost here, you have to make the conversion here. And you can see the difference uh, the difference in our numbers here when we went through these things. So our estimated fire loss here based on 33% of cost was $60,200 here. And then if we move over here, if we looked at it just 33% of sales, you can see our estimated fire loss was higher at $80,200. All right, so we've gone through that example here just to make the comparison.